بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين السيدات والسادة الأفاضل رؤساء الوفود والوزراء وممثلي الدول والأعضاء وممثلي المنظمات الإقليمية والدولية نحييكم كلكم باسمه وجميل وصفه بتحية الإسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يطيب لي أن أتوجه للمنظمة المنظمات الحاضرة اليوم بجزيل الشكر والعرفان على It is my pleasure to speak before representatives of the United Nations and the representatives of UNESCO and other international organizations and to hear about all the efforts aimed at increasing partnerships and cooperation in order to achieve the goals we all aspire to in order to re-ensure the continuity of education. Perhaps at the beginning, I will shed some light on the damage on children and students of the coronavirus. There has been a crisis of education which uh, was already there in uh, Libya and which presented many obstacles to young people even before the pandemic. Almost two million children and students were unable to attend their schools and almost half a million uh, youth were not able to attend their institutions of higher education. Despite the efforts deployed by my country during the closure of schools, which consisted of activating programs for um, distance education, there was an impact on the continuity of education and quality of education, especially in remote areas which uh, do not have ICTs or electricity and uh, where family incomes are low. This uh, has led to an increase in inequality in the context of trying to benefit from remote education uh, and especially in remote um, areas, the impact has even been has been even bigger on children with disabilities and very young children because they were not able to participate uh, through remote learning. Despite the huge challenges uh, which the national education system faces and had faced even before the corona uh, virus, our educational institutions and the Ministry of Education have been committed to implementing ambitious and serious programs in order to reach a larger number of uh, children and ensure that they enrolled in schools and also to increase the uh, pace of improving our educational uh, system so that we will be able to be resilient uh, when new crises hit. As an example, a number of initiatives were taken so that we will be able to recover from uh, corona. During the health epidemic and afterwards, Libya took a number of uh, steps in order to achieve re recovery in the short and medium uh, term. There were many positive uh, actions and we are committed to shoulder the responsibility of improving our educational system. The most important steps were the following. To reinforce the professional capacities of teachers so that they will have the skills required for the 21st century, which include the use of ICTs and uh, achieving skills to manage classrooms and uh, to teach. Also to reinforce the capabilities of uh, directors of schools, uh, specialists in social affairs, uh, those responsible for dealing with people with special needs and those uh, responsible for introducing technology. We will try to develop uh, our schools in a way which uh, fulfills international criteria. In uh, many fields, we're dealing with uh, capping the number of students in classes, for example, and teaching uh, children with special needs. Uh, training sessions and taking into account the ages of students in dividing up uh, classes. When it comes to teaching in presentia and remotely, there are a number of challenges. One of them is that uh, there is not always electricity and there are many other problems as well. The ministry has put in place the National Project for Electronic Learning and Remote Learning in cooperation with regional and international organizations. 
and uh, we will use appropriate mechanisms to move to electronic teaching and we will put in place the infrastructure and engage in the capacity building of our human resources. We also work on the health side uh, by providing vaccines to all those working in the educational sector and to students and also cleaning of the schools and sterilizing um, and also putting in place the necessary budgets uh, for the educational sector. And we will try to keep funding at adequate levels to try to improve teacher uh, salaries in a way which is suitable to the economic and social uh, context and to uh, pay more based on certain criteria, such as, for example, uh, the geographical location of schools, the size of the classroom, etc. We will update our legislation concerning education by using a number of mechanisms. For example, we will uh, make uh, education compulsory starting in early childhood. And we will try to also make university, university education uh, free in order to reduce dropout rates. A full review of school curricula for pre-university education. And to also concentrate on uh, l learning of emotional skills, for example. There are statistics about the educational system in Libya, which will help us uh, uh, to respect international criteria. And we will try to fill some gaps in the training of teachers, especially when it comes to uh, basic sciences, the use of ICTs in education. Also, we will put in place strategic uh, plans and blueprints for the infrastructure of schools based on sustainable and innovative methods. Ladies and gentlemen, the participants, last but not least, I would like to thank you for listening and I would like to reassure everyone, we are true partners to everyone. We will work together in order to achieve our common goals. in order to provide a safe educational environment uh, to achieve our goals. And may the peace and grace of God be upon you.